reproducibility journal clubs allow ECRs to talk to each other and actually gain support for the thoughts that we all have about that things aren't all perfect here. <laughs> um, <laughs> our generation, if we don't fix it, we're going to live in a scientific landscape, whether we stay or go, but it will exist for our whole entire lives. It's a real chance to think about change and, and press for change from the bottom up. I think that's just really important going forward. Hi everyone, as Amy put it so succinctly, today we want to give you a brief overview of reproducibility. Who we are, what we do and why you might want to join. I'm Jan, I'm from Aalto University Finland. And I'm William and I'm from the University of Chicago. And we're uh, presenting on behalf of the reproducibility steering committee that we are also part of. Yeah. So what is reproducibility? Reproducibility is a grassroots journal club initiative that started out of the University of Oxford by three early career researchers, Amy Orban, Sam Parsons and Sophia Cruel in early 2018. Since then has, it has become a global initiative that promotes and advocates for junior scientists to engage in open science. We do this primarily through supporting uh, them to create or join reproducibility journal clubs all over the world. So why a journal club? Well, uh, at most institu institutions, there is no formal training on engaging with open science or how to conduct rigorous research practice or any understanding of the current issues around the reproducibility crisis. So what a journal club can do is bring together members from different departments, faculties and disciplines to discuss and understand the relevant issues and what the best practices are in science. Furthermore, it promotes open science within the department or the institution as the journal club members translate what they learned into practice. And the best thing about it is that it's extremely easy to get started. Anyone, regardless of seniority or standing in the hierarchy or experience, can start and lead the journal club. There's no department funding required and very little administration is needed. So, and also, any materials you might need are provided by us and we are constantly working to try and add to our starter resources to further lower any barriers to entry to starting a journal club at your institution. However, the arguably most important effect of having a journal club is the community it fosters. Within the department, it brings together ECRs from across different labs and departments, even disciplines, promoting sharing of experiences and issues in academia and research. This can very much lead to collaborations or recognition of department-wide issues that require solutions such as training workshops, for example. But not only does reproducibility foster local communities, we are now a global network to connect ECRs all around the world. So reproducibility now spans over 130 institutions in over 25 different countries. And this common branding or um, reproducibility format makes it e easy for reproducibility members to interface and communicate with each other. And this wide network, uh, this wide community are all broadly interested in open science and reproducible research and especially uniquely advocating for early career researchers in this movement. To connect all of us globally, we have a Slack workspace as a venue for journal club organizers to connect, collaborate and exchange ideas and even speakers. We also have an active Twitter account at, Repu at, at reproducibility and many local journal clubs have their own Twitter accounts to follow and promote what they are discussing at the moment. On our website, we further collect resources for everyone to use, like uh, branding, but also reading lists, our podcast, and templates for presentations, posters, and everything else you might need. We're always looking to create uh, even more helpful resources, so check back every now and again, and we probably have something new. So, so taken together, what are we about? Well, the goals of reproducibility. Uh, uh, is that it's a way to connect researchers and to exchange ideas and approaches to science. It's a way to create a local community and find support and like-minded friends in a space that can be somewhat isolating. Reproducibility is also a way to make open science a fixed part of our work and to help stay on top of new developments. And lastly, reproducibility is a way to be part of the ongoing credibility revolution that has been started by scientists all across the world. 
So how can you get started? If you want to start your own journal club, it's easy. Just get a few people at your institution and visit reproducibility.org. Um, the registration is quick and easy. You get onto our website and you get access to our Slack. Do um, you want to join an existing journal club? Chances are there's already a JC near you or at least in your time zone. At the moment, a lot of our uh, journal clubs are online. And we have an online calendar on our website where you can see who is currently uh, reading what and who is welcoming guests. You just want to tip your toe in for now? Also, super easy, no worries. Um, all our uh, resources are openly available, so feel free to just have a look around, read up a little bit, um, and get started into open science. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you want to find out more about us, you can look at our website, https://reproducibility.org, or on Twitter at reproducibility. We look forward to welcoming you to our community. So, hi from Reproducibility Chicago. Hi from Reproducibility Alto. Hi from Reproducibility Rotterdam. Hi from Reproducibility Southampton UK. Singapore Reproducibility. Hi from UCI Reproducibility. Hello from Reproducibility at UB Bristol. Hi from Reproducibility Frankfurt. Hi, we're Reproducibility Oxford. Hello, we are Reproducibility Taiwan. Hi, <laughs> 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 <laughs>